Oi, boys, welcome, welcome to another episode. I'm gonna need you to do a little favor for me before we get into the episode. I'm gonna need you men to run up the likes. It's been a little slack around here in the like department. And of course, as always, shout out to the gang, the hash, tag, odd squad, for always letting your presence be known in the comment section. But yeah, let's get into it. We've got the Parameter Eels here in round 21. And this is actually our first time playing the boys from Parramatta. And uh, as for our lineup, Desi New has returned back into the centers, pushing Corey Oates back out to the wing, Mead to the bench, and Albert Kelly, unfortunately forced out of the 17. And just quickly back to the Eels with their current placing. They are sitting at 15th, winning only six games out of 18. We will start with Jermaine Asako returning 10 minutes into the match. And now 20 at the moment, Payne Haas, nice little fend, makes some ground through the middle of the field, inside the 40. This is, uh, like I said, this is our first meeting against the Eels. I think we got them twice. I had a quick look at the calendar and all of our quote-unquote hard games, a majority of them were already played. You, you know that little, that little stretch in the mid-season where we played those. Jeez, no one's taking Turpin. And we get the offload away to Desi New. First game back from suspension. But yeah, we've um We've got a pretty decent run heading into finals. I'm not gonna say easy because we could lose at any moment. Alright, so it's 6-0 halfway through the first half. On the second, we go to Milford. Trying to draw in pass, but we end up holding on to it. On the third, decent setup to the left. And man, I'm noticing those looping passes that are kind of starting to annoy me. Milf deep in the pocket. And we end up changing our mind last second and we pay the price. Our pass goes right into Mitchell Moses' hands. The Eels with a full set to work with. And Corey will get wrapped up around the 10. On the second, the Eels shifting it out to Ryan Madison. Inside the 10 at this moment, thinking of giving away a penalty, but we're going to test ourselves here against this Eels attack. Two to go. That's a good tackle. We don't get him to ground, though. On the last to go to Dylan Brown, he drops it on the toe. Carrigan. I sped off the line to try and put pressure on the kicker. But we were, uh, we were in no man's land there. Nowhere near the kicker. Dylan Brown threads the needle. Clint Gutherson. Gets the first try for the Eels as Moses draws the game up. Man, that was a bad ball. We lose position, but we'll get it right back here. The Eels played their advantage. We get the block play. We send it out to Milford this time. And Jordan Ricky takes the tackle. All right, so we're going to get another crack here at the line. As Asiata goes straight, looks for a runner. Little setup to the left, Milford drops it off to Staggs and there is plenty of room on that corner for us to sneak in for our second try of the match. Good old Katoni Staggs. As Asako converts and we go up by six points. Half time, half time, we score that handy try heading into the break or just before the break. And the game so far has been pretty competitive. We'll have a quick look to see if the stats tell the same. And they pretty much do. Look at that. 10 line breaks apiece. And possession is pretty much equal. Back with Mitchell Moses taking the tackle inside the 30. The Eels looking to shift it wide. Dylan Brown ball. Man, what is with these playmakers and their post-contact meters? As the Eels look for Gutho, but look at Jordan Ricky right in his face, and that's a, that's a dominant tackle if I've ever seen one. Third, they go back to Nathan Brown, looking for work through the middle. Two to go on the 10, the Eels on the charge here. And Ryan Madison will take two to stop him, five outs, fifth and last. It was a grubber kick last time. This time they go to the sky, bat backwards, and it's Clint Gutherson off the footwork, off the bat back. A nice little two-piece for Gutherson tonight, and the kicks from the Eels in the try zone have been perfect. 
That's a most of Smith's one. Still trailing by two, the Eels looking to work their way out of their own half of the field. That's Ryan Madison gets rid of one. That's a nice offload to Nathan Brown. And they are inside their own 40 here as they go to Junior Paolo. It's a decent run. He gets past the 40. Still inside their half, but they do shift it here back to Ryan Madison. Breaks yet another tackle. And Milford's all over that pass. Good play by our skipper. Can we retaliate with points of our own as they go wide? And Staggs is double teamed and pushed back behind our 40. Second, we go to Asiata. Looks for a draw and pass. Look at Marnie all over Mead. Man, the Eels really numbering up in defense in the second half as we get a beautiful ball away to Jermaine Isako. And he's eventually taken inside our 30. We set up the classic play to the left. Milf straight in, draws in at least three. And we put Gordoni Staggs away in the corner. For his second try of the match, what a beautiful pass by Anthony Milford, executed perfectly by our skipper Milford. And the grounding looking a little dodgy here. Now that should be a try. Look at, look at Blake and Agatho diving at air. That was a beautiful try right there. That particular play is a staple here on the channel. Haven't really seen much of it with the Broncos, but it's worked a treat in the past as we miss a kick of our own. What a boot downfield. Seven to go. Of course, Fergo splits two defenders. I've got a little list video coming up real soon. That involves Ferguson. As Morata New Corey gets tackled on the 50. Moses to Opacic in the centers. Sivo slots into dummy half. Lane takes it to the line. Two to go, we have to hold on here. As Regan Campbell Gillard, look at the look at the play here by the Eels. That was a great run by Regan Campbell Gillard. Last tackle, and it's another perfect kick. Farnworth under it gets knocked. It gets knocked on. Man, I was trying to change defenders. And I was holding onto the right stick to pretty much make the tackle, but we held on for it. Just a split second too long, we end up knocking the ball on. So now we are defending for our lives. I would give a penalty away, but I don't want to win. Like if they take the two points, I don't want to win like that. Third, not long to go. As they go to Dylan Brown. Almost falls over the line here. Reed Marnie in at dummy half. Doesn't go for the cheese, just sends it. So Ryan Madison running onto it, a well-earned try. He's been a gun for the Eels this match. I thought a uh, dummy half drop down cheese type of try was coming, but I was sadly mistaken. And here we go, boys. Another golden point extra time. This time it'll be the Eels getting it started. Kick not as deep as I wanted it to be. They'll be running it out of their 30. They go wide. Oh, kill him. And that's Michael Jennings in the open field gets a risky offload away. We just watched that ball go past us. The Eels. Looking like they will get close enough for a drop goal at least. As they go to Jennings. The footwork from Fergo. We're getting hammered on the edges. Two to go. Junior Polo settles it down. Here it comes. Who was it? Dylan Brown in the pocket. We get the charge down. But Marnie's there to clean up. Man, that's tough for us. They go back to Polo. Full set. They go to Brown. Brown sends it wide. Moses to Gutherson. All the playmakers combine on that play. Clint Gutherson scores a hat-trick. And it'll be the Parramatta Eels. Clenching the dub and golden point extra time. I mean, what could we have done in that situation? They're just, they're breaking tackles left and right. 
Michael Jennings, haven't seen him all game, all of a sudden, an extra time, he turns into a beast. And that last play, that was great from Parramatta. It was their whole spine linking up to score that try. Mani to Brown, Brown to Moses, and Clint Gutherson seals the deal, boys. As always, if you enjoyed that video and would like to see more Rugby League Live 4 content, or more content in general, be sure to run a shit at that like button. Thank you for tuning in. And I'll see you. you, you. Light up. That's my team. Loyalty of everything. That's my team. That's my team. From the bottom where we grinding. That's my team. That's my team. To the top where we shining. That's my team. That's my team.